my friends, and welcome back to Cyberpunk. In our last video, we did end our day in Haywood working on a plethora of different kinds of side content. But in today's video, we are going to do an official, I don't know, side quest with Judy. It's called X Factor, and the quest said, someone once said, no man ever steps in the same river twice. No clue who said it, but he was a smart dude. Now there's lots of rivers in this world, most of them toxic, but whatever. <laughs> places you could explore instead of stomping over the same old grounds and lots and lots of joy houses. What's this one got the others don't? I, I don't, I don't know. We're going to find out though. And I've read Japan, Westbrook, and I think I've read clouds. I'm pretty sure I did when I did the quest. One of the priciest and most technologically advanced dollhouses in Night City. Clouds offers you an experience tailored to your deepest desires. Desires you might not even be aware of. First you jack into the system, then your fantasies and preferences are scanned. And finally the data is automatically transferred to the most suitable doll who eagerly fulfills them. The doll is controlled by a chip, which means they aren't aware of what happens in the session and their memory is wiped every time. Doll houses are frequented not only by people with your run of the mill fetishes, but also those who are antisocial or cripplingly shy. It does not sound familiar, so I don't think I read it. But anyway, I am going to head over to Klaus. All I did was slightly relocate closer to the fast travel point and meet up with Judy somehow, some way, somewhere <laughs> in all those things. Okay, so she is up here, mega building H8. I did also up my difficulty to hard. We'll see how long I stay there, because <laughs> normal was fun. Hard, maybe less fun. And I'm all about the fun when I play these games. <laughs> okay. There is another... I thought there was another... Yeah, there's another side job over here, but I want to focus and do Judy's quest. Meet Judy on Cloud's Terrace in the early morning. I feel like we are very much not... Oh, it's 4.34 a.m. We are early morning. Cloud's? NCPD has urged caution when using data terms. Identified virus can lead to cyber failure in extreme ca cases, even death. In response to an increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level to red. Residents of Arroyo and Watson are advised not to leave their homes after dark and always ensure easy access to protective firearms. Schools and hospitals have been closed until further notice. Lovely. And I'm like, where's my exit, please? Well, hold on. You take a blow-up doll. Oh yeah. Dream all the holes. You've heard that one before. That's cheap. That's infidel. Oh, I can't. I can't save again. Are we going to like some sort of back entrance or something? Okay, that's not where I'm going. This is where I'm going. <laughs> I, uh, this all looks very dangerous. Um, ah, ladder. Wait. Am I going to wait a whole day, do you think? Probably. <laughs> Sometime later, dot, dot, dot. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. You're welcome. What, what time of day? No, I didn't wait that long at all. I know I have a level up, but I'm ignoring that for right now because I want to save the points for... I want to get higher in the tactical tree. <laughs> Hi, Judy. 
Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Tell me anything about her? Some deets about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? Mm-hmm. No. Leave the talking to me. Uh, am I here as your hustle? Yes. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How you aim to bring her around? How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. Are you nervous? She seems nervous. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. O okay, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Okay. You've used his entrance before? Looks like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have, on occasion. Easy as by ya. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, which you know. Yup, but I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the Mox. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Left a lasting impression. Good. Do what I had to do. Don't mind me. I'm here to blend into the furniture. Uh, first one. Came to Clouds for info. Left with info. All the while, I did my best to make sure no one standing in my way ended up in a garbage bag. Yeah, you're welcome. Appreciate it. Now, what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? That all you're good at blowing hot air? Judy wants to make, a prop make you a proposition. That one. Judy has a proposal about clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the tiger claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. Huh? Ew. I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something, or everyone will end up like Evie. Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's proposal, give it some thought. Judy's idea, think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. A uh, Cloud's employee took advantage of Evelyn? You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read, negligible. Shouldn't be working here then? She shouldn't, but she may not have another choice. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. 
Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm not your enemy here. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. Chose the wrong side? You picked the wrong side, Michael. I'll be the judge of that. Well, let's poke around before we leave, if I can. Let's save, just in case I can't. A trophy school of management trophy. 2076, a trophy signifying a completion of higher ed management program conferred upon Micah Maida, valedictorian. Wow. Why are you working here then, lady? Ooh, death and taxes. Nothing in life is free. Every powerful hit will cost you a bit of health. When your health gets low, rounds will start to poison enemies. Okay. Dollhouse feedback. Celeste, great performance, no change in attitude since last month's events. Divine, average performance, eager to work overtime, good work attitude. Gale, no improvement in work attitude, no willingness to change, last warning. Heaven, the names here. <laughs> average performance, good work attitude, candidate for plastic surgery. Morning star, first month, trial period going well so far. Sky, highest level performance, exemplary attitude. Consider requesting TC for a bonus or bump her salary. Sun, high performance. Talks back to her her supervisor, but otherwise okay. Lost focus after Parker's disappearance. Keep an eye on her. Angel high performance, exemplary attitude, second candidate for Azure Prize. System rarely chooses him. Find out why. Oh yeah, Sky and Angel were my two options. Well, these two options. Mistral, average performance, okay attitude. Rain, another complaint from a client, needs a disciplinary talk. Storm, very big improvement since last month. Keep an eye on her. Torrent, okay performance. Lost focus after Parker's disappearance. Keep an eye on. Zephyr, satisfactory performance. Correct work attitude. No irregularities in two years. Deserves a, a raise if we can allow it. There's another one. A gem of Japanese elegance. What is this? An assortment of high quality makeup products. Monthly expenses, doll equipment, employee equipment, medical, cleaning. We can ask the dolls to clean up after closing, but they'll put up a fight and won't even do it properly. You can let Forrest go. I'll, hap I'll happy take over his responsibilities. I'll happily. JA do not delete. She looks different for sure. Okay, messages. Thanks and sorry from Maiko to Martha Ortega. Hey, Martha, thanks for the date. You're a nice girl and I like you, but it's just not going to happen. Please don't take it personally. It's me. I realize that I'm not ready for a commitment yet. Welcome to Heart Solutions. Welcome to the elite service of Heart Solutions. As a sole service provider on the market, we take what we do very seriously. We know that time is money for our clients. That's why we guarantee you will find the right person within the next 90 days. If your future partner does not meet your expectations, we ensure a full refund. In order to help start your journey, we will send you a questionnaire that will allow an algorithm to choose the best person for your first date. That must be where she came from, I would assume, maybe. Anyway, take your shit from Judy to Maiko. This is the third time I'm telling you to take back your precious sweaters. I don't have space for them in this substandard mediocre unit lacking that doesn't square with your ambitions. What? That's a wonky sentence. Might as well just send over one of the bimbos that keeps circling you like flies. Otherwise, they're going straight to the recycling because I can't look at them anymore. It's amazing how shitty your taste was. Clearly, I wasn't just gonk, but blind too. And then Mako responds and says, and I ask you to give me a bit of time to think about things and to give yourself a little time to cool down. I don't care about all that stuff. You can toss it out, but I'd like to come over and talk anyway. This all escalated so quickly. I feel like in a way it was a misunderstanding and maybe we brought up too much too quickly. It doesn't have to end this way. And even if it does, it doesn't have to be so all of a sudden. Hey, Judy responds and says, far as I'm concerned, we're done talking. I've already buried it and no way am I digging it back up again. Not with you. You're just doing what you always do. Buttering me up with promises you don't actually want to keep. 
Just tell me when you're coming and I'll leave a bag with your shit in front of the door. Don't ring the bell or knock because I won't answer. Telling you ahead of time just so we're clear. Micah responds and says, okay, and I'll just tell you this, toss that shit out the window. It's trash. I don't give a shit about any of it and I'm not coming. Judy says, nice you can afford to do that. I guess that's what you do with everything. Throw it out like trash. No remorse, no regrets. If you find any of my shit, feel free to hand leave it on Jig Jig Street for the people who need them. As for your clothes, you could get jumped wearing this, so I'd rather just burn it. Bad breakup. You went too far from Judy to Maiko. You crossed the line today. Since when do I need permission to go into your office? Security contacted you, so don't bullshit me with procedures. It was your call. Maiko tells Judy to just cool down and stop throwing a fit or you'll get us both in trouble. I have to keep some semblance of professionalism, which you've clearly never had to deal with. It cost me an arm and a leg, but I managed to elbow my way into a better position. Don't think I can't lose it all just because of a little carelessness. One little slip and they'll toss me into a hole I'll never crawl back out of. And Judy responds and says, now you suddenly care about rules and appearances? Where were those rules when I tweaked the stats on the doll chip so you could jump up the ranks? I didn't just do that for your career. I did it because I wanted things to change. Only change I can see is you becoming self-obsessed and lacking any conviction whatsoever, while everything else is just the way it used to be. You seem to be doing a fucking okay. Mako responds and says, that's your perspective, but I see what's happening on the ground. Change is happening. I really don't understand why you can't just trust me. It's not like I started out wanting to manage this place. Don't you know I'm doing this for us? I'm thinking about our future. I thought that would be proof enough of my commitment. Looks like for some reason it just pisses you off. Sue me, I guess. Why are they having this conversation over email? Like, I, I, I know it's so that V can read it, but like in real life, you would certainly hope they wouldn't be having this conversation via email. Anyway, Judy responds again, says, congrats, Maiko. You've ascended and left me back here in the real world. Seems our perspectives don't align anymore. It's so obvious now that all this ambition you went on and on about was really just you wanting power. Shame on me for not noticing sooner. I didn't think it was possible to hate the city even more, but you went and did it. Got yourself chewed up. I just hope when it finally spits out, there'll be something left of you, the old you. And I miss you from Judy to Maiko. Took my work home because that sleazeball was standing over me the whole time watching my hands move. The fuck did that shit had think that I'd clip some cables? Anyway, got to go back still today and set up on the spot. I'd really just rather you just come back home. I miss you. Heart. Maiko says, why don't you swing by the office? I don't have much going on today. Maybe we could, could think of a way to wind down and reward your hard work. The bartender brought, brought me a few bottles of champagne upstairs and not the shitty kind from some TC shindig. We could have our own private event, just you and me. And then Judy says, why does she come see you so often? Who? Oh, the bartender. Why does she, she come see you so often? She couldn't have just left it for you. If it was me, I'd have sold it for some extra scratch. After all, tigers don't drink your average piss. Look, I don't know what she wants, but I don't believe in that just being nice bullshit. Sit that bitch down. She's really starting to piss me off. I'll drop by later. Mox is doing a party. It's May 13th anniversary of Lizzie's death and the gang's creation. It's like our national holiday. Anyway, if tomorrow will be just be like the last time, I might, I just might get over the bitch. Woodman too. I just hope your desk can handle it this time. Huh? I misunderstood that very badly or I read it poorly which is probably what happened anyway Michael responds okay I'll be waiting I can't focus on work anymore if the desk falls apart boo hoo <laughs> I get it now <laughs> I was thinking of getting a bigger one anyway smiley face winky smiley face just don't forget to come in through the back now that they have me to face up to they'll be be looking for any weak points which of course I don't have except you and Judy responds who knows maybe they'll find something else like the pad tie that you made last week that was too sweet, smiley face. Besides, if I'm your weak point, then you have nothing to worry about because this solid ass weak point can take care of herself. I'd sooner worry about all your kinky fetishes and fondness for taking risks. It's sad to like start with the end of their relationship to lead into the middle of it, but there you go. That, that, that went smoothly. She totally blew us off. She's probably scared. Yeah, 
That's the, that's the reality of it. Know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? I feel like Judy also left out the fact that, obviously left out the fact that they used to date and that may have also had something to do with it. Because it was a very bad breakup, clearly. <laughs> You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. I think it was a bit more than a big crush, Judy. Let's be honest. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow, I don't see it. No, me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Uh, we all avoid that when we can. Uh, Judy, I am following you. She has to stop and think about what were we doing again? Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Well, what do you want to do? Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody. Fine. I want you to do it. Okay. Sure. Are you sure he's gonna be there? You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Well, let's go kill the motherfucker. <laughs> Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. All right. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Okay, thanks, Johnny, for your, you know, vote of confidence there. Is the news gonna work now? It is! AV has crashed outside of Night City. The aircraft's thrusters were deactivated by sudden EMP discharge from a nearby damaged power station in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt proved unsuccessful. The passengers who survived the crashed landing were met by a band of nomads. Fortunately, really? Kang Tao's surviving security personnel managed to find out. <laughs> Why'd you fucking call me here? Hi. Evelyn's dead. Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. Ugh. Evelyn's needed your help and you raped her. You ugh, awful person. 
When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I... Let's, uh, let's get out of here, V. Sorry, I couldn't hear him talk anymore about Evelyn that way, or anybody that way. I... nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Did not need that. I thought I'd feel more... Be satisfied. Ugh. Punch the ground floor. Need to get out of this place. Okay. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. It is. And the feeling? It was so fucking strong. The world has changed. World did change, though. Mm -hmm. All the people he could have hurt. They're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know they were in danger. Exactly. What's going on? It's nothing. Okay. Except nothing I can do if you don't tell me. Huh. <laughs> Guess that's that. Hey, Holmes. Oh, man. Oh, no You're screwing mean. with my head. There's that tone. Yelling comes easy. Taking me out somewhere? That fucking board is on the impossible. I am not yelling. Said yourself, we got everything here. Tombs, stores, eateries. And that's all you ever dreamed of. Okay. Good to know. You mean like the mega building? I think that's what she means. Or he means, they mean. Okay. Let's go talk to Judy. Or leave the building with Judy, rather. Very, very slowly, we're doing this. I'll come stand down here and wait for you. How's that? She just gets so aggressive when she's lighting up her cigarettes. Gotta get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough. Michael only works with specifics. Thought you might give up after that? For a minute there. Thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? I don't Minuscule. know. Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. Yeah, I'm also partial to specifics, too. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes you gotta deal with the dirt. Or I'd like, I would like, it would be nice to know in advance how many guys I'm gonna have to, you know, plow through. Anyways, I came out very wrong, I know. What's up <laughs> what, with you? What now? So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. Okay. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V, and thanks. Okay, I realize I haven't, I didn't look up anything really besides the first go around for that quest, but it's all done now. Oh well. It's fine, I'm sure. We can talk to her again? No? Okay. Well, I do have some time left, and I wanted to head back to Haywood to work on some more gigs. I don't see any more hustles. Is this Haywood? That's Corpo. That's Haywood. That's not Corpo. City Center in Corpo Plaza. City Center, City Center. Okay, there is this gig here. And there is a fast travel point right nearby. So let's go and try and do that before I wrap things up today. 
focus on Haywood, get Haywood done, and then in theory, we don't go back? I mean, I probably do go back, but like, the initial quests are cleaned up enough. <laughs> Must have, what? Must have been in a real hurry. I'm trying to come up with something like a, like doable, but also fucking mind blowing. Be in touch. See you soon. I hung out. I said goodbye. The quest completed. What do you, what do you want from me? I just, I feel, I'm so confused. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm crossing the street. There are no cars coming. So let's just go. Let's stay away from the coppers. Cause they're very sensitive if you walk right next to them. Oh, I just realized this is going to be the first quest. Well, not the first quest, but the first gig that I do on hard mode. Padre, you going to call? Good day, V. There is a man who must be justice. This is a personal matter. I'll pay extra. Okay. More info attached. I'm counting on you, V. All right. Okay, let's see. Gig type, gun for hire, target, Karubo Bairi. Dive bar on the corner of Congress and Pigeon Street. There's a time for forgiveness and a time for revenge. There's a time for turning the other cheek and a time for crushing your enemies like the roaches they are. <laughs> In the words of the prophet Jeremiah, cursed is he who keeps their sword from bloodshed. The man you are to eliminate is Karubo Bairi. He's an old timer, but don't let appearances fool you. He used to be a solo. He killed my friends, people who were like brothers and sisters to me. When all hell broke loose in Night City, he fled to the East Coast. Now he's back, probably thinking everyone forgot about him, but not me. Karubo runs a filthy dive that serves as a Valentino's hangout. Go there and show him that nobody can... Avoid the hand of justice and try not to make a scene. Okay, fine. Be professional. No unnecessary attention. I mean, like, why? Okay. Mercenaries. Uh, I feel like I've read that one before. All right. Let's save. This is going to be tricky, I feel like. Oh, technical ability. I don't have enough. Por qué chingados metes las pinches narices donde no te llaman? Liku, what's shaking, brother? Why the long face play? Oh, you know, women. What are you looking at? Okay. There's hey, Carrubo! Know this one? <laughs> Great. I'm. This is, there's lots of guys in here. Another bathroom. Okay. That's going to get me noticed. Huh. Okay. How am I going to do this sneakily? Can I... I'm gonna have to kill these guys. There's no way around it. Cause the door I need to get into to kill the guy is back there. All right, let's save and let's just. Nope, that didn't work. Okay. All right, that's clearly not gonna work. Let's try something else. No. I wonder if there is roof access. There is roof access. Okay. Save again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
hostel area. Oh, her thing's a little broken. Kill and hide body. Okay, that's done. I don't know how that's gonna get me anywhere I need to go. Again, that's not gonna help me at all. But we'll take all the guns and everything here. May as well. All right, so we're in here. Is there another way to go? There's a guy coming. Oh, it's through the window. Hmm. All right. So I need to. enemies. Everybody go there. But I gotta figure out how to stash the body. I'm gonna get noticed. Someone's gonna notice me carrying around this body. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, this is so bad. This is so bad, this is so bad. No? Okay, dump body. All right, that one's done. Okay, so I need to distract all these guys. enemies huh? See, I need to <laughs> think she'll go over there she doesn't go over there Okay. I think that'll work now. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, let's try that again. All right, well, I've been trying off and on for like the last 15 minutes to, to do this quietly. I don't think it's going to happen. But my last option is to try it with a handgun. Quietly with a handgun. That's my last option. And I'm hoping my sneakiness will kind of pay off if I do it this way. Okay, that seemed to work. can see through walls, apparently. That's not fun. Can I... I don't have, like, a... He died. 
Nope, now I'm in combat, <laughs> officially. Oh, yes, you were very aggressive. <laughs> Sorry, Padre. Oh, crap. <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh my goodness. All right, shotgun's out. Fully loaded. Oh, we seem to be fine now. I swear my game is so wonky sometimes. It did get away. Can I just synapse burn out you? And will you die in one go? I did. Perfect. It's not going to be quiet. They're going to catch me. Hopefully they don't obliterate me. Come on out. I'll give you a foot rub, my man. Oh, no. I'm going to synapse burn out you and then overheat you as well. And hopefully I can kill all of them before they find me, which is not going to happen, unfortunately. Burnout, overheat. Whoa, you need to cyberware malfunction. Whoa! How are they shooting through the wall? La perra se esconde. There's so many of them now. I don't even know how that happened. Okay, let's overheat you. I just need my health back. Oh, crap! Tear the sucker to shreds! Weapons glitch again. Die already! Why is he not dying? Una vaca. Dang! Tenemos una vaca. All right, two more guys. Está hackeando! I... <laughs> La perra se esconde! Yeah, I'm hiding! Overheat, and then we will overheat you. So yeah, I moved up to hard. And uh, maybe I should have actually done upgrades before I did that. You know, probably would have been a good idea. Padre's gonna be very mad at me, but it is what it is, right? Okay, com archive conversation between Jose Luis and Pilar. Jose says, sup, got some work needs doing, you in? Pilar says, dunno, how much you paying? Whatever you want, you win the lottery or something? I wish, loaded client, not skipping on cash or gear, but he wants it done quiet. Sounds too good to be true, something's off about this. Nothing's off, Ladrillo vouches for him for him so you in or not because i got others i'm in fuck it preem tell you the rest when we meet later all right let's loot i'm i'm very unimpressed with my <laughs> with my um shooting abilities today oh our okay, conversation missed that you gonna pop up for me please There we go. That's not what I wanted. 
Okay, archive conversation between Nolan and Zavi. Nolan says, yo, can you talk? Zavi says, sort of, with my kids watching a movie. Same one for the seventh fucking time. Can't take it anymore. Anyway, what's up? About my kids, actually. About Martha. Shit, how she's doing? Not good. Stopped answering the hollow in my messages. Apparently, she's in a coma. Jesus fucking Christ. Because of that dip wipe, Gustavo told her to stop hanging out with him, but she didn't listen. So what now? Now we fuck him up, willing to pay. Shit, bro, you know I'd love to, but it's still too hot after what happened in Vista. NCPD put a bounty on my head till get a new faceplate or a DNA mask and can't even leave the house. I'm sorry, Chu. It's cool. Better as Padre. I'm sure he knows someone. Okay, sure, yeah, take care. Padre's gonna be so mad at me. But you know what? It's a good thing to do this once so I can see what happens if I don't do it quietly how they want me to, right? That's how I'm gonna look at it. Plus now I can loot. Okay, in we go. He's here. Nomad cookbook. Outstanding payments. Pascal until Friday, Ramiro paid up, Inez calculate interest. When Seslu paid up, Nuria until Friday, Sylvester calculate interest. Okay, let's put some here and here. Yeah, it would have been so much easier if I just had the technical ability to get through this door. Holy Rose multi layer edge runner. Whoa, okay. All right, let's look at the, calcu the calculator, the computer. E, confession. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. A confession should begin with me listing my sins, but I cannot. I know I've murdered, but I don't know how many. I know I've tortured, tor tortured maybe, but I don't remember who or why. I know I have raped, but all their faces blend together. My memory fails me because I abuse psycho stims for focus, reflexes, and to dull the pain. The last 15 years of my life are like a corrupted video file. All I ever can recall are pieces, the kind that keep me up at night. I'm back in Night City now. I don't know why or what I'm looking for. Maybe atonement, maybe death. After all, I came back knowing I have many enemies here. I sincerely repent and promise to improve myself as a man. But if I were to say what I deserve, your Lord mercy, I two or three, two or three words remaining, pay an extra 10% now to guarantee your absolution. What? That's not how it's supposed to work. You're back from Royce to Karubu Bairi. Fuck Chum, is it true what they, they're they saying on the streets? You're back in NC. We ought to remind this town just who we are again. Man, Night City's even more fucked up than it used to be. Hit me up, Royce. Nice to have you back from Banri to Karubo. Heard you're back at NC. You thought I wouldn't find out or that I just forget if either of those, if it's either of those, you're wrong. Hope you're covered by trauma team. Who knows when you might have an accident. Uh, today. He had an accident today and, well, I've saved. Hi. And you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. And thus, Garubobare came to know the Lord's wrath through his humble servant. Yeah. Excellent work, B. The contract is closed. Really? You're not mad at me? Do I just like not get an extra tip or something because I did it not so quietly? Okay, well, with all of that horrible gameplay, in my opinion, I'm going to pause things here today. But on Wednesday, we're going to do a few more side content stuff in, um, in Haywood. I've only got, let's see, a gig and another hustle. Uh, there are a few hustles. Uh, actually, I've got several things to still do. So I've got plenty to still do for Wednesday. Ooh, a level up. I will do that also on Wednesday. But anyways, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe. And I will see you again on Wednesday with another new Cyberpunk video.